Aquarius. This is going to be your reading for Exes. And it's going to be for November 13th through the 20th. This is to see if your ex is likely to come back, okay? This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Of course, you guys know that this res this reading will not resonate for everyone. Um, so if the message does not seem like it's for you or it confuses you, then it's probably not for you, okay? So don't try to make it fit. All right. Aquarius, excess. What's going on? With Aquarius and their ex for November 13th through the 20th. Aquarius and their ex. Emperor. You might have an Aries that you're dealing with or have Aries in your chart. Let's see. Nine of Swords. Mm. Ruminating thoughts. Keeping you up at night. Somebody here. Well, somebody want a new start. Let's see what's going on with Aquarius. Look at that. Ace of Cups. Two aces. Okay, guys. First two cards is going to be that one to flip. We'll take it where you're at. And that is where your ex is at. Now, keep in mind, too, that these, these energies can be flipped. So even though I'm saying this is you and this is them, it could be vice versa, okay? So we're going to start here. This person on this side is basically feeling like they have carried this burden of this relationship for long enough. And they're just ready to lay it down, okay? They are, they are, you know, they're strong enough to go on, but it's like, you know what? I can't think about this anymore. I can't do this anymore. So it's not serving me. So I'm laying it down. That's where you are. Okay. The other person is looking at you thinking, um, yeah, me too. <laughs> I feel like this person is, um, you know, just not doing much, but I feel like they have a lot to say. I feel like they are very smart. I feel like um, they are kind of reflecting on whatever happened between you guys. That, that's where they are. You're laying down the burden and they are reflecting on the burden that they're laying down as well. Okay? As far as relationships is concerned. Thinking about, oh, good, goodness. Okay. What you want? Healing. You want the person that you're destined to be with. That's what you want. You want equal give and take with somebody. You're looking for the person that you are meant to spend your life with, I feel like, here. Mm, that one to jump to. Let's see. I'm jumping cards here for Aquarius. We have Sagittarius here. Somebody in that energy. What they want. I feel like this person doesn't really. They're like back and forth here. Because they're looking right down at the star. They want the same thing that you want, and that is to be with the person that they're supposed to be with, that they feel like, okay? But at the same time, they're going in and out of this energy. Now, this is not the Knight of Wands, and I don't really look at the Knight of Wands as like going in and out, being, you know, promiscuous or anything, but the Knight of Cups can be kind of flaky. And I feel like this person goes back and forth um, with, you know, wanting to be with you and then saying, well, no, it's probably not good because this knight of, not this king of swords, I don't know why I want to say knight of swords, this king of swords is very rational, very logical, okay? So they're not really that comfortable with showing a lot of emotion. So I feel like they're back and forth, like trying to reason this thing out when some things you just can't reason, love, you know, there, there is no reason. 
to be honest with you. Okay. And then under the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Cups. And that is, you know, just love from God that's being offered here. You know, people needing to see what is really important, I feel like. Mm -mm, not taking that. Let's see what you guys need here. Yeah, you have two tens completions. Yeah, so just needing to, you are needing to just put that hurt that you felt so deeply, the betrayal the mind games whatever whatever you felt that you know kept you bogged down you just need to lay that to rest okay and i feel like you're doing that here i feel like you are and i feel like you know you've gone through a lot of healing here as well with that ace of cups being under the bottom and then the star card being here because that's healing you know, that that is the angels and God surrounding you, hugging you, you know. Then under the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Cups, which is union, reuniting here. Let's see what this person needs. To be grateful for what they have in front of them. They're not seeing, like I said, with that Knight of Cups being very flaky in and out like, you know, one minute they just they just want to be with you and they want to tell you they have a hard time like expressing their emotions i feel like with this four of cups okay very hard time here wishy-washy and it may confuse you as well that's that's probably why the ten of swords is here um, because you probably were very confused by this person's actions during the relationship. Let's see. Is it likely? Yes, 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 yes. Very likely. Very, very likely. This is your result. Two of Cups. Reciprocity. Reciprocal love. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Right? So we are going to pull a Divine Feminine Oracle card for you guys. Yeah, this person is going to, they're going to turn around. They're going to turn around. We have Cancer here. I don't know if I said it. Cancer, Aquarius, uh, Gemini here okay Sagittarius and those are just the energies that are present it could be any sign though guys okay but both of you love each other so I, I, I see this I see this all right we have Joan of Arc there's only been like three cards coming out of this I don't know how many cards in this deck but you guys can see that but for all 12 signs, like, it's been either Joan of Arc or, um, I forget the other two cards, but yeah, out of that deck. But Joan of Arc is the warrior of light. I have a steel-like faith in myself. The angels armor me with conviction. And I feel like that. I feel like a lot of that's going on right here. Um, especially with you, this person on this side is really like, you know, doing, working on themselves, putting things to rest that no longer serve them. And that's life. So yeah, kudos, kudos to you. Okay. Let's pull an angel prayers card here to close out the reading. That king of swords is staring the star card down over here looking for you looking for the other person that card flips sideways so we'll go ahead and take it and then 
another one came out as well. So I'll read that one as well. So, okay. Inner power, the divine father. Divine father, thank you for co-creating my world with me. And then we have shine your light. Archangel Uriel. Thank you, Uriel, for helping me to share my light with the world. All right, guys. So is this union likely? Very much so. Very much so. And that is what I have for you for November 13th through the 20th, guys. Thank mm -hmm. you.